All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Today on Tools in Action, we are talking about the Klein lighted tool bag. Uh, just recently, Eric, Klein has got into uh, tool bags. Yeah. And they're actually doing... Well, no, they've had tool bags for a long time. Right, but the now canvas. they've really got into some yeah. innovative stuff, and we're kind of liking what we see. Uh, you know, propylene bottom, stuff like that. Keep your, uh, your tools dry. Yeah. This one's cool. It's got 31 pockets. I don't know. I love being organized. I love... I don't care what it is, but this one's cool. It's got a light. A uh, little LED light, and it actually comes off so you can set it up. It even has a hook in the back. Um, so oh, you so you can hang it on a job site. But what's cool is you can actually turn it the other way and lock it in there. So if you're working, you can actually see your see tools your in there. See your stuff in your back, which is pretty good. I mean, because yeah. uh, sometimes you're working on dark stuff. And I mean, I know Klein is geared towards the electrician, but I'm just thinking like a, a roadside service technician mm -hmm. would like something like this because, you know, he's out fixing a tire, fixing a car late at night. He can just bump, turn that around, look into his bag, and he doesn't have to hold his flashlight because yep. it's already in there, and then just flip it out, put the bag on the fender or whatever. Exactly. Plus it's orange inside, so it's a little bit more visible. You can see your stuff. <clears throat> it's got 31 pockets, and what's cool about it, it's, I think it's, what is it, uh, 1680 D Ballistic? Weave or something. Wow, like Eric. Yeah. Yes, I was just looking it up. Which it <coughs> means it's stronger than just like the regular nylon. It's definitely so you don't have to worry about your tools, you know, piercing it and things like that. What I do like about this is the protection on it. Yeah, the protection, I guess, for the weight ratio, if you want to call it that. It's a light bag. Do you know what it weighs offhand? No, I don't even think it said. Oh. But uh, it is light, and that's the good thing. I know we always tout Vito Pro Pack, which is a great bag, and I still think it is the top of the line as far as protection. Um, this is a more lighter weight bag than that, uh, but it's still tough. It's still rugged. Uh, it's got all the features. It even has the belt clip on the side for the uh, your tape. tape. Yeah. You know, I mean, electricians love this. We went out with uh, John, Local 134, and uh, he basically loved it. He had one with wheels. Yeah, he did, yeah. And that, I don't, so I don't forget, it's got a nice pad. I mean, it would be nice if the pad was a little bit longer, but at least where your shoulder rests, it's, it's a nice thick Yeah, pad. this is a good small kit. I mean, you know, a guy that's going to the job every day for a big job, he's probably going to need a little that bigger real bag. One. The yeah, real the one real like one. Had. But the cool thing about the real one is this can sit right on top of it. True. This is more of a quick, hey, you know, i got to run upstairs, check this light out or something like that kind of bag. Uh, but no, I agree with you, Eric. I think it's a really cool little bag. And I think it's one of the first lighted ones I've seen, actually. I think, yeah, I don't think I've seen one like that, which on is cool. Market. I like it's reverse one. I like it you can also detach it and use it. Plus, like Dan was saying, with the bottom on that, you set it in water or some type of moisture. You don't have to worry about it seeping through the bag. So What's I like the that aspect of it. I don't know. Weighs 4.95 pounds. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, we don't know the warranty. It's uh, 55431 five, Tradesman Pro Organizer part, Lighted. It's part of the Journeyman series, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, I believe it is. 14 inches high. I don't know what their Journeyman series really is. I mean, I know when you get like the pliers that say Journeyman series, they have they're kind of different better, grips. Yeah, they're... Really? I think it's more of a higher I, I mean, I have standard. a pair of Journeyman Kleins. I, oh, man, I don't even know if they're here. They're my favorite Kleins ever, and now they're gone. You know what? Travis Rains probably stole them. I'm surprised you can't find it in this well-organized garage of yours. I know, you guys. Uh, we've been having major issues around here. We I mean might you. possibly be moving. Let me just show you the garage real fast because everybody likes garage tours. Just so you can see the this mess. This is more like uh man. All right, here's the, the disaster zone. But are you gonna see something new? What do you see right there? A toolbox. Craftsman toolbox. We got a new toolbox, and those are all flying up at the top there. I'm trying to fit do it all nice, you know? And then over here we have ugh. Bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. I'm trying to get organized, you guys. And then tools are coming off the pegboard. I don't think I'm going to use the pegboard anymore because, I mean, I don't like showing them off anymore. I'm, You're going away from that? Yeah. See, I like it because I can easily <clears throat> grab something. I'm actually, I've I actually like been that. working. Tell them, Eric. You did. He actually put a hardwood floor in. I'm still was, putting a hardwood floor in. It was two by two floor that it he was put hard, in. It was hard, man. It was yeah. rough. It took me about a week <laughs> and a half. <laughs> no, but I, wow, he actually told me he was doing a. Hardwood floor, he needed a nailer, and I was like, yeah, whatever. I didn't think he really was, but he did. He actually was sending me pictures as he was doing it, and I got to say, man, he did a nice job with it. He Thank sent you. me a lot of pictures, one after another after another. It's like, check this out, check this out, but he did a good job. Yeah, and hopefully we're tr I'm trying to sell the yellow house, so once I sell the yellow house, I'm going to buy like a real beater house and fix it up all on camera for you guys. Well, I'll mostly make him do it. It's a 30-year project. 
No, I'm really, I'm gonna get, I wanna get a house that I'm really gonna do pretty much. I, you know, I want something smaller. Like this house, it's like if I wanted to redo the kitchen here, it's like yeah. $50,000, $60,000. If I get a super small house, it's just me, you know? I could do a kitchen for 10, 15,000, you know? Yeah. I don't need, you know, five bedrooms and 13, five no, taxes. Yeah, heat all that and just, yeah. you know. It gets crazy. I'll miss the yard, I'll miss the lawn. No, but... you, won't. you won't miss mowing. No, I love mowing with do the ravens really? and stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. I can but do no, that I won't miss this area. You know, it sucks. Yeah. All right, you guys. Tools in action. Check it out. Uh, check out Klein Tools. Check out their new stuff. We got a lot of good stuff coming. Check out their foam lubricant. We did a video on that. Yep. The guys are going crazy over it. I know in the video we squirted it everywhere jokingly, mm -hmm. but it really is uh, awesome stuff. Yep. And don't forget, December 25th, we got the ultimate tool bag giveaway. You can go to toolsinaction.com. And you can see the banner, uh, is it on the top now? Yeah, and oh. And we've got some more cool things mm. uh, we're actually giving away in the next, in a couple of videos from now. Or sometime right, yeah, soon. we're gonna have, Klein's gonna put in a backpack with some tools in it. Not tons of tools, yeah. but some tools. Yeah, so we got a Rotozip New tools. in there. We got the Klein backpack. Right. JC10, where's your JC10? It's at the flooring job. Oh, okay. You wanna know what I've been using for the flooring job? Well, I'll tell you, we're doing another video. I'll talk to you about it then. Wow, I'm riveted. I can't I, wait. Hey, it's kind of cool to actually have time to start working. I mean, I don't really have time, but you know, when we're pushing tools in action, most of my time is involved on computers, trying to get tools in action done. But now I'm actually going and out and, and, and play. Well, they got hacked yesterday. I couldn't play it. Did it really? Yeah, it sucked. Like was, all of it or just yours? Yeah, no. The whole PlayStation Network got hacked. Wow. Yeah, I wanted to, I'm like, man, I'm taking Sunday off. I'm going to play Battlefield all day and I couldn't connect. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. But we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. Yeah. Tools in action, check it out. Uh, all this ultimate tool bag giveaway stuff hasn't been announced yet, but we will announce it soon. Tools what are you talking about hasn't been announced? I haven't announced it yet. We haven't done a video and saying, hey, this oh, is officially like in there. We're oh. just telling you under the wraps. Oh. All right, tools in action. There you go, need to know. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. <laughs>